Hello. Hello. Hmm. That's funny. I thought I heard a doorbell go. Must have been the wind. to walk into the shop today. My name is Miss Star, and welcome to Tingle Town Real Estate. How can I help you today? Okay, so you've just recently moved to the area, and you've been living in Tingle Town Hotel, but you have started working here, and you've recently been promoted to a manager position, so you're looking for a more permanent place to live. Congratulations. Okay, so what kind of place are you looking for? Right, okay. So you're looking for a shoe home. Well, I'm afraid we are a real estate agent. We sell actual homes to human beings, not to shoe homes to tiny people. Yes, okay, the nearest shoe shop. That will be about a mile away. Right, okay. So, it took you a really long time to walk here. And your little legs are very tired. Right. I can see that, and I'm very sorry, but... Tell you what, since you did walk all the way here, and I just live in a flat upstairs, I do have a few boots and shoes that I'm looking to either donate or sell. Perhaps you'd be interested in living in one of them. Yes. Okay, great. Well, since you are a new client to us, I do need to ask you a few questions first. So please make yourself comfortable. Um, what can I use? There is this, um, burger stress relief toy. You can use it as a cushion. There you go. Okay. And um, would you like anything to drink? You're fine. Okay. Great. Well, first things first. What is your name? Tiny One. Okay. Could you just spell that for me, please? Right. T. I. N. Y. O. N -E. And is that all one word? It is, okay. And do you have any surnames? No. Okay, that's fine. And tiny one, I don't suppose you have any ID that you can show me, please? Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. This is really small. I'm going to have to look for a magnifying glass so I can read it. One moment, please. Um, could you just confirm your address for me, tiny one? Nine Tingle Island, Tapping Road. Thank you. And could I have your date of birth, please? Okay. Let me just check that's correct. Thank you very much. Here's your ID back. Okay, great. And I don't suppose you have a phone number, do you, tiny one? Okay. So, five, six, seven, did you say? Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Thank you very much. So, are you looking for a permanent place, or will you be staying here long? Because we also offer lets and we also offer more permanent housing. Okay. So you're more interested in a permanent house. Okay, fantastic. And because you will be buying a shoe from me, I just would like to ask, are you interested in buying the pair as well? Oh, you are. Fantastic. So you would like to buy the pair 
so you can invite your friends and family over to visit you. Great. Okay, and before I forget, what kind of shoe are you most interested in buying from us today? Okay, some something warm, like boots. Okay, great. Well, most of the shoes that I would like to give away are boots, so you're in luck. So, yes, please just wait for me here, and let me go upstairs and get the boots for you, and I'll be back in a moment. Hello again. I have found some suitable shoes and boots for you to look at. So, just before we carry on, I was just wondering what your pricing range is. Because them being boots and me normally selling houses, I'm not entirely sure how much to sell these shoes for. But I am very open to negotiation, yes. Okay, well, let me show you the shoes. So, this is the first one. I think you'll like it very much. Especially in winter, for keeping you warm. It's a suede boot. Well, actually, a faux suede. And it's got a lovely fur trim here. And it's fur-lined, it's lovely and warm and soft, which is definitely something you would need in winter. Were you thinking of putting the shoes outside? Okay, so in Tiny Town there was a massive roof, and that is where all of the tinies keep their shoe homes. Oh, fantastic! And this lovely little tassel as well. You can probably use it as a door knock or something. And you like pull the pull the tassel down. And then you know someone's at the door. <laughs> the only problem with it, Tiny, is that um, with it being faux suede, it's not very waterproof. But I'm sure you'll be able to find a protective spray. So yes, this is the first boot. One of many. We do have another fur trimmed boot, yes. Let me show you that one now. So we have this boot as well. This one is slightly different in style. It has a zip that you can use to enter the house, the shoe house. Just here. And it's also got shoelaces in the front. Oh, you like this one, do you, Tiny? Great. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? And yes, it's very warm. It's got this fur trim as well. It's not fur lined though, but it is very nice and warm inside. And in case you're interested in, like, keeping it nice and solid on the ground, it does have good traction as well. And this one is waterproof, yes, Tiny. Okay, so you like the colour brown. We do have one more brown boot in our collection, so let me show you the other brown boot. So this one's slightly different to the other brown boots because it's a little bit more plain. But it's a classic design, I suppose. And, I mean, for me, as a human being, I can wear it with different outfits, so... I suppose you're not too interested in that, though, if you'll be living in my boot. Mm. So what can I say about it? Okay, yes, yeah, so with it being long, it'll keep the rain out, and it'll also keep the heat in, and it's a lovely brown suede. So although it's not fur lined like the other boots, it will still keep you warm in winter, Maybe not quite as warm as the other boots, but the good thing about it is you can use it all year round. And another good thing about this boot, tiny one, is it has a zip here, so you can enter through the side, through here, or you can enter through the top, through there. And it also has these two loops, these two loop designs on the top here. So yes, tiny one, 
this is the brown bit okay so you like the material but you don't think it will keep you very warm in winter hmm yes I suppose not especially with how cold it's been getting lately but I suppose a good feature about this one is it's waterproof and with how wet it's been getting it'll be very useful Okay, yeah, so you'd like to see our other boots anyway before you make a decision? Okay, yes. So the other two boots are black. We have another suede boot here. It's got more of a design on this one because of the lovely gold zip. And you can enter through the side here or through the top. And the zip is quite tight, so it's quite secure. And also, you can use this zip as a doorbell. Can you hear the little rattling sound that it makes if you tug on the zip? Can you hear that tiny one? And this one is another suede boot. So it's also warmish and waterproof. It's a lovely black colour with a lovely gold zip on the side. And there's a little loop here as well. And it's quite a low boot. Oh, it's a tiny one. Right, okay. So you're just a little bit concerned that it's short and the water might get in through the top. Hmm, yes, okay. I can see that that might be a bit of a problem. Especially when it rains, even though it's waterproof. I think it's funny how design features that are important to us, giants, are very different for tiny ones. Especially when it comes to living in our shoes. Okay, well, I do have one more boot to show you today. So this one is really nice and comfy. It's a leather boot and it also has some fabric here so it's actually a snow boot but I tend to use it in winter time and autumn as well when it got cold. So it has this zip opening here so you can get in through the side or you can also get in through the top here. The great thing about this one is it's waterproof and it's soft and fur lined as well. So it's very nice and soft inside. I'm not sure if you can see the lining in here, but it's very warm. And it's quite high up as well, so I suppose, tiny one, if you want to be kept off the ground and in a well insulated boot, then this is the one to go for. Okay, tiny one. So you like this one for the zip opening? Yes, I suppose you could also use this as a doorbell. There's a little rattle when you shake the zip. Can you hear that one, tiny one? That's what the rattle sounds like. This one was actually one of my favourite boots. So I think you will really enjoy living in this one. Okay. So you think you're ready to make a decision? Fantastic! Let me put that boot down. Okay, and which boot are you the most interested in? Right, okay. So you're having a hard time deciding between this fur-lined boot and this one that's nice and padded and also fur-lined. Well, I suppose in terms of using it all year round, this one might be the most useful one because it's nice and waterproof. Whereas with the other boots, you will have to use a protective spray. So which boot would you like to go for? This one, okay. Fantastic. So let me get, let me get, let me get the other boot for you. Okay, here you go, tiny one. 
So normally the price would have been decided before, but I am open to negotiations because I've never done a type of sale like this before with shoes instead of actual houses, so as you can imagine our prices are usually quite high. Okay, are you sure tiny one? That price is quite high. Hmm, yes, okay, well I can offer a delivery service, I suppose. I suppose it depends how far away Tiny Town is. Okay, so it's just on Tingle Town Road. That's around the corner. Oh, it's near the post office, is it? I guess I've never noticed a tiny little patch of grass behind the post office. And that is where you live. In the garden. Oh, lovely. Okay, great. Well, I'm sure I'll be able to walk there. It's only literally a stone's throw away, so I'll definitely be able to organise a delivery service for you today and deliver those boots personally to Tiny Town. Okay, well, tell you what, with the delivery service, how about if I charge you? Twenty pounds for the sale of the pair of boots today, and then the next five pounds for the delivery service. Okay, that's twenty-five pounds, then, please. And how will you be paying today? Electronically, okay. Oh wow, that is a very tiny, a very tiny card. Let me just see if it works on the scanner. Shoop shoop shoop. Okay, great. So I just need to prepare a short contract for you. But usually this is all done electronically and signed by the customer on the computer. But judging by the size of your hands, I think you'll be far too small to type and also to hold this pen. I mean, you're about the same size as this pen after all. So. I just need to think about how I'm going to get you to sign. Hmm. Oh, got it. So, I'm going to prepare a paper contract for you today. And then I can scan a copy, upload it, and then send it to you by email. Hopefully you have an email address. You do? Okay. So it's tiny one. Okay, let me just write that down. Tiny one at tinytown.com. Okay, thank you. So I'm just going to prepare a short contract. This is the smallest paper that I have, so I'll write it on here. I, tiny one, agree to the sale of these boots for £20 for the pair and a £5 delivery service from Tingle Town Estate Agent signed by myself, Mr. And now I just need to get you to sign it, but I might have to do it slightly differently because you're so small. So I'm just going to collar you in. I know it sounds a little bit strange, but I just thought that perhaps I could get a signature stamp from you. Would that be okay? Yes, okay. It won't hurt, I promise. So I'll use a spring pen. Okay. Mm little bit over here, over here, on the other side. Okay. okay, just a little bit on this side. There you go. Now I'm just going to stamp you onto the paper. Don't worry, it's not going to hurt. Chuk, 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 chuk. Okay, there we go. Now I have your 
your signature. I'm going to apply the copy onto the computer and then send it to you by email. Okay, let me just give you a quick clean because I can't have you leaving here. Thank you very much for doing business with me, tiny one, it was a pleasure to meet you. So let me get ready and put these shoes in a bag or something, but why don't you climb onto my hands and we can go together to tiny town.